Hey guys and gals, it's your old pal Goliath with our last interview for the second day, and we are in the beautiful, luxurious Carib Royal. And I know I probably just butchered that, but this hotel is phenomenal. We probably get some panoramic shots in a little while of the beauty. We are standing by this beautiful gingerbread house. Now, the Khan Holiday Mutsuri is amazing, and by accident, well, not so much accident, I'm just a gentleman, I saw this beautiful beautiful woman standing i couldn't stand there and sit this watch this beautiful gorgeous woman standing on the bus so i gave up my seat and she tells me they're a family that cosplays together and stays together and she was talking of the family cosplay and i'm like i have to talk to these people it's amazing so i'm standing here with the family of we are the welch family and the welch family has got now this is not star trek if you think this is star trek stop watching my videos <laughs> this is from a great movie called Galaxy Quest. It is a parody on Star Trek Next Generation and Star Trek Anything and Star Wars. They make a lot of renditions, but the cosplays are beautifully made. They got the jumpsuits, they got the logos, and believe it or not, the grandma, the grandpa, the mom, the dad, the aunt, the uncle, the baby, the cousins, everyone is involved. This is amazing. So I got to ask, what got you? How, how did you guys get the family involved with this? How did you bring grandma, the beautiful woman involved? How did you get grandpa involved? How did this all start? It really all just started with my younger sister and I, Faith. Uh, she had been going to conventions and I was like, I always wanted to go, but I wanted to have a great cosplay. And we went to one and then we were like, we love it. So we dragged our brother in down the end and we made him go in costume and he loved it. And we dragged our dad in and he loved it. And then my two daughters were begging to do it. And finally the next year I said, yes, we will do it. And we did Avatar The Last Airbender. So dad, who is a carpenter, made a giant um, air glider for Aang, adult Aang down there. And we just had a blast. And then my daughter started, she is a um, amateur videographer. She started making um, cosplay music videos. We did spoof music videos. So, um, and it just like kind of grew to like more other other sister joined us. We had a, we met a cosplayer who drove over from Tampa and starred in our last Deadpool video. Um, just like family, friends, spread fun. It's just a great way to get away for a day and, and meet great people and dress up. Will you adopt me? <laughs> I think this is my family, the one that I've been looking for. I found them, guys. I found them. So. Did your parents drag you into this? Was it something you got into, or were you always the cosplay? Would you did you love it always, or kind of like my mom's a little crazy, my aunt's a little crazy, my grandpa's a little crazy? What brought you? You're the youngest, I correct? No, second youngest. Okay, but what brought you into all this? Well, I had no idea what a comic con was until my mom went. And then she went and she showed me all the pictures, and I said, "That looks like so much fun. Why won't you take me?" And so, finally. Next year she agreed to do it and we got to do one of my favorite TV shows, Avatar The Last Airbender, so I was super excited about that and I just loved it so much. It was a lot of fun, so I want to, I love Comic Con. And remember guys, we always say it's of all ages and we call her Nana, Grandma, Mima, what do we call her? Nina. <laughs> Nina. <laughs> I gotta ask, how did they rope you into this? How did, because you promoted them so well, you hooked me and I was like, this is the most awesome grandma, this is like action grandma now. This is so, t how did they rope you into this? <laughs> This is actually my first convention. I always just send them and have a day at home alone, quiet. <laughs> but they, I love Christmas, and they convinced me it was a smaller one, and I just wanted to see what they were doing. I always did theater with these guys when they were little, homeschooled, and we had a Shakespeare group. We just loved it. So this is just pulling the costuming and the and the the theater and the film all together and doing it as a family. So it's wonderful. <laughs> That warms my heart that a family comes together so much to do stuff like this. And how many cosplay family cosplays have you guys done over the years? Like, what's is it a big number, a little number, or just this is our fourth? So you've done Avatar: The Last Airbender, you've done uh, Galaxy Quest. What are the other two? Last year we did White Christmas for the holiday Matsuri. So the boys were did the sisters number with the um, fans and all of that. So <laughs> that was fun. And then um, this year we did Fortnite. So. And oh, and we did Farscape. That's true. Farscape was that awesome. is awesome. <laughs> now, what's obviously because the family's got it. Do the kids have any ideas? Do you guys have bigger ones in store? Like, I think I see some ideas rolling around. You're like, oh my god, I have idea. Goliath, let me tell you the idea. Tell me the ideas. Okay. 
Well, next year I would really like to do Dragon Prince because I love that show. <laughs> Especially, I think we should foam craft the armor and not just buy it. That's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. And for those that know, it's a great Netflix series. It is from the creator of Avatar The Last Airbender. It's phenomenal. It is great. So, not only did Grandma promote them and do great stuff, she helps out, she does all this work. Apparently she's the choreographer, the stunt coordinator. She does all these behind the scenes jobs. What can you tell us about, you know, being behind the shadows? What is it like to do all this stuff? And eventually we want to see you participate. So what's it like to work from behind the shadows? Oh, what is it like? It's, it's, it's wonderful to support someone in their dreams and that they're doing something that they delight in. That is all that my heart wants. So that's why. <laughs> that's it. I'm getting the adoption papers. I'm going to go live with them. I pay, I cook, I clean. I do a lot of stuff. <laughs> You're a fin you guys are a phenomenal family. So always, we always like to wrap up with some motivation because obviously the family that cosplays together stays together. What words of encouragement can you guys give us for our fans and followers out there about cosplay, about family? Because I've tried to introduce cosplay to my family. It's been a bit of a rough road, but some of them have come around and asked questions and gotten involved. But for some families, it's a really sore heart subject. What can you tell them out there? I think it's um, the hard thing with a group this big is find something that everybody loves. So, um, I mean, like with Avatar The Last Airbender, we just all, like, we watched it as a family, we discussed the characters, and it was just um, just something that brought us together. So maybe, I mean, start watching TV shows with your family and just find something that really sparks everybody. And what do you think? I agree. I think that like, group cosplays is the best way to do it because you get everybody involved. And if you were by yourself, you probably wouldn't get as noticed. But we feel like celebrities. Like when we did Avatar, so many people came up to us. And it's a lot more fun if you have tons of people. It's way more impressive and it just feels more gratifying. So, yeah. Were you Ang or Toph? I was Toph. I just had a funny feeling. She's got this attitude like, I am Toph. I could feel it. I could feel it on her. She's like, no one messes with me. Are you kidding me? Look at this face. This is a serious face. <laughs> and me, <laughs> what do you guys say to our followers and fans out there? Because as someone who is obviously the behind the shadows, all the heart, all the work, all the heart, that I feel, I can feel the warmth of this family and it's overwhelming. I want to cry, guys. It's beautiful. What can you tell our fans and followers? I would say, for me, what I've noticed today is that even if you're doing it by yourself, you start meeting people who have interests like you, it, it, it becomes a family, it becomes a community, and even though it's kind of weird, <laughs> and it draws some, you know, the geeky and the, the it, it, you all just come together. So you don't really need a family of nine people or whatever, you can, you build your own in the community, and that's important. I, I got goosebumps, that was beyond beautiful, I brought a tear to my eye, guys. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for taking the time so much. Guys, remember Arc Studios' quote and motto, dreams to reality. They had a dream, they made it a reality, so go out there and make yours come true too. This is Goliath from Arc Studios signing off on day two of Holiday MatsuriCon. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys. Bye.